Today, I'm about to show you two ways how I make my fried fish. I'm about to show you how I make my cornmeal batter fish, and I'm going to show you how to make my beer batter fish. So, today, we're going to be using a nice mild white fish. This right here is some flounder. Okay, I have some beautiful flounder fillets right here. Very nice. You can, of course, use some catfish. You can use some codfish, like um, fresh cod, not salted cod. You can use some whiting if you want. Um, I think these two, um, these two batters are good for a nice mild white fish, all right? So we have our flounder right here. Right here, I have some extra fine cornmeal. I have some parsley, some lemon pepper, some of my seasoning, of course, there's always going to be a link in the description box below where you can buy my seasoning. It's very good, very complex, it's bomb. Just look at it. You can tell, anything you put this on is going to be real good. If you don't happen to have my seasoning, you're lacking, use some adobo with pepper. Right here, we have some all-purpose flour, some self-rising flour, some Dijon mustard. We have some beer, okay? And we have an egg right here. Oh, and you're gonna need some hot sauce. Some of your favorite vinegary hot sauce. This right here is mine. I'm a Louisiana girl. Comment below what your favorite hot sauce is. This right here is all you need to make some bomb fish, all right? So I'm gonna show you two ways how to make some really good, super crispy fried fish. All right, so we have our fish here. I'm gonna separate it in two. For me, the cornmeal batter is definitely my favorite. So I'm always going to make more of that. So I'll do three of the beer batter ones just so you guys can see how I make it. All right, so these ones over here are going to be the cornmeal ones. I'm going to go ahead and put some of this Dijon mustard here. I don't put mustard on the um, beer batter fish. Next, I'm going to go in with some of my seasoning. seasoning over here this right here is the lemon pepper put that over here for the cornmeal batter one not for the beer batter I'm gonna take some hot sauce put a little hot sauce on top of this one for the beer batter one I put a little bit of hot sauce in the batter with clean hands, go ahead, just rub the seasoning, this mustard, seasoned mustard mixture all over these fish. When you do it like this, when you um, mustard fry fish and chicken, you don't taste the mustard. It just adds a little something something to it. It's really good. See, this is how they should look. Go ahead and wash my hands real quick. All right, so I'm gonna do this quick beer batter. I'm not making a lot because I'm literally only like frying a few pieces of fish in the beer batter. So we're gonna go in with half a cup of this self-rising flour, one egg yolk, a little bit of my seasoning, some parsley, just so it can look pretty. Next, we're gonna add some beer. Start 
Start off slow because you want a nice thick batter. Want to thin it out a little bit more, so a little bit more beer. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of hot sauce. This right here is perfect. This is how you want your wet batter to look. See that? It's like a nice pancake mix. Super good, super full of flavor. See that consistency? All right. So that right there is our wet batter. We're gonna go ahead and just throw in these three pieces of the flounder. Mix them up in here. Okay. And then we're just going to let this sit. Let's do our cornmeal batter. All right, so right here we have a Ziploc bag. To this, I'm going to add a cup of the fine cornmeal. Okay, that right there is probably like a cup and a half, honestly. Next, we're going to add a quarter cup of the all-purpose flour. This just keeps it from being like gritty. A little bit of my seasoning, not a lot. And parsley, so it can be pretty. So here's how our seasoned cornmeal mixture looks. Okay. What's up? All right. Now we're gonna add our fish to here. Let's do three at a time. Close the bag up, shake it on up. You don't have to use a Ziploc. Sometimes I use clean plate, plastic bags. You can use a plate, a bowl, whatever. I could fit those other two pieces in here too. Works smarter, not harder. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just keep mixing this up and I'm gonna go and start heating up our oil. All right, you guys, so we got our oil hot. I'm going to do the bare batter fish first just cause the cornmeal may leave a residue in the pan. So let's go ahead and add those in. Try to shake as much batter off as you can. All right. See, it's a nice hot oil. The fish is floating. It's not sinking to the bottom and sticking. So that's what you want to see. So I was able to fit that third piece in there. All right. All right, so these are looking brown around the edges. Let's go ahead and flip them. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. All right, you guys. So these are done. We're going to go ahead and take them out. Over here, I have some clean paper towel. And, you know, look at this. Look at that. You cannot tell me that is not perfect. Okay, come through beer battered fish. All right, you guys, now it's time to do the cornmeal batter. Look at how nice and battered these are. Nice and coated, I should say. 
so. Okay. All right, so these are ready to be flipped. And, oh, y'all, look at this. Do y'all see that cornmeal batter? What? What? Y'all see that? Y'all, look at this. Y'all see that? Okay, you guys, so here is our fish. This is our beer batter fish. Look at that. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Here is our cornmeal batter. Oh, look at that, y'all. That looks so good. And it's crispy, you hear that? Nice and crispy. Let's see how the inside looks. Let's break a piece off. Look at that. Nice and flaky. They're cooked perfectly. And I'm about to go get my hot sauce and go to town. Y'all, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to do you, boo. Open up. Here you go. Mm. Y'all, I had to come back. Y'all, this fish is so good. My favorite is this cornmeal batter. Which one you like the best, Ronnie? Mm -hmm. The beer batter one? Is it good? Mm -hmm. So, he is tearing that beer batter fish up, y'all. Y'all, this fish is good. Y'all gotta go make this. Simple, but so good. Whoa, don't slip up or get caught. Why not, man? I'm coming for that number one spot. All right.